Hi, I'm Don Thompson, Director of USNC Marketing at CareStream Health. I'm here today with Greg Rushing. Uh, Greg's a manager of imaging services from St. Francis Medical Center in Missouri. Uh, about a 300 bed facility, yes. I believe. Yes. Um, Greg, so you were telling me you've been a customer for quite a while with us. You've yes. got a, a whole suite of our products, our DRX uh, Revolution Portable, DRX uh, Evolution Rooms. I think you've got some of the conversion, yep. uh, DRX Conversion and Retrofit Kits, uh, DRX Ascend Rooms. Uh, maybe you can just tell us real quickly about you know those products. Uh, we've had care for quite a few years in our facility. Uh, the latest ones are the DRX Revolution Portables, and we really like them because the interfaces are really easy for the technologists. The collapsing tower is really amazing because my techs can now see over the portable. Mm -hmm. That makes a big difference going around a busy hallway and getting in and out of rooms. It makes that line of sight for the techs a lot better. Okay. And then I know today uh, you saw the new Revolution Nano product, yeah. the smaller portable. Uh, you were seeing some great things about it, so we were wondering if you could just tell us a little more about maybe how you think that would fit into your facility. You were talking about potentially using it in your NICU, perhaps in your ICU, and as a complementary product to your revolutions. Yeah, the Nano is really great for the size and the weight of it. It works really well inside the NICU because you know you're, you're dealing with really small areas, and the bassinets you have to maneuver around. So the size of it is really great and the weight of it is really great. There's no loud noises and motorized yeah. pieces to it, so it's really quiet for the babies because we gotta be quiet for the babies. Yeah. <laughs> and but it's and it also it's dedicated. We can leave it in the NICU for infection control purposes. And it's really gonna be a great aspect when it comes on the market. Great. And then I know that you're also a uh, View uh, PAX uh, customer mm -hmm. and some of our other products, View Motion, uh, with our HCIS products mm -hmm. you've implemented. If you could tell us a little bit more about that. I know you've got a, you've got a bunch of those products. I think you're using the View Motion, the iPad Correct. product. Tell me uh, uh, how about that. Uh, the, we installed PAX about, the CareStream PAX about four, about four and a half years ago. And we've really embedded it in a lot of our, even into our AMR, we we're able to access it. We use that zero foot printer, uh, zero foot, View printer. Zero footprint viewer. Yep. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I got a little backwards. Zero footprint viewer. We use that because it's easier for the doctors to log into it. They can take their iPad or their iPhone right into the room with the patient and look at those images right there with the patient when they need to look at them. It makes it a big difference being having that right there for them to look at and also show the families and know what's going on inside the patient at the time. Great. And as far as the, you know, the PAC system, you said they went through that installation. You know, what are some of the features maybe there that uh, some of the folks really liked when they went on the CareStream system? The it's the system? easy use. The techs use it really, I mean, it's the easy use. The techs are able to interface with it really well. They can delete images, do what they need to do as far as streamlining that for the radiologist process when they're, they're needing to send that over to the radiologist. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much, Greg. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me in here today. Thanks.